the analogy I use is that like the, the nuts and bolts underneath, we've got the legalities, but the experience is I'm moving house. This is my dream home and please make it easy for me. So when I came over in 1993, um, I got the very first licence issued in New South Wales. The main difference between ourselves and a lawyer is that you need a lawyer if you're going to be getting into litigation. Okay? So if you're on your way to court, sorry we can't help you. Um, our job is to stop that happening. A dishwasher or a home theatre system, you see all these things that are included in the property and if they're not in the contract, um, there's no way that you would know. So you can ask the question, there's a cubby house at the back, are you expecting that to be included? Yes, well it's not in the contract, so let's make sure it is. And if you don't do that, it becomes an issue at settlement because they, they go down there to do their final inspection. <laughs> Cubby house is gone. That was supposed to be included. Well, you didn't tell me. Well, <laughs> no, you didn't tell me. I wasn't expecting you to. But those types of issues can be short-circuited by just understanding exactly what people are buying. For the first 12 months or so, I was totally on my own. Um, it was getting out there, I did a lot of events and things and educational seminars for real estate agents, which is the chief source of um, business. Um, they got confident in the way I did my business um, and it just it grew from there. My key business goals, number one, supremely happy clients that keep coming back. Number two, a really good team of people with whom I work that are happy to work with me. And number three, profit. There's a lot of people out there qualified to do the work, okay. technically, legally, and um, with knowledge. Okay. Um, the particular culture of our business, however, is very, very client focused. Uh, we're very keen on understanding what our clients expect from the business. So to translate that knowledge into the service is often the biggest challenge when someone could be working in a different environment for so long. Understanding a lot of things like your clients, what they what they need and expect, what the people you work with expect as well, and your family. And if you can tune into people's expectations, life will be a dream. To clarify empathy, let, let me give you an example of what we do in practical terms. So if someone is buying a property, a service that we offer is a free contract review. So we ask them to email the contract to us and we will review that contract and have a discussion with them about the things in the contract. Okay? So what's that? That's all about a contract, isn't it? Is that what the client sees? No, the client sees that they're buying a house. Okay? So when we review a contract, the first thing we do is we go online and we look at that property online to what the agent is saying. So we actually, when we have the discussion with the client, we have a mental picture of what they're looking to buy. We do have a culture in, in, in our organisation. When things do go wrong, <laughs> we always say, what could we possibly have done to prevent that from happening? Even though it's not our fault, is there anything that we could have done to, so it wouldn't happen again? Um, so, and then we build that into our processes. So that's, that's just one example is looking at the property to make sure everything that we can see in the picture is actually on the contract. When all you do is conveyancing, you get very good at it. Now, there was a group of people sitting around a table at one of the radio stations um, talking about my, my radio ads, and they, they've got to find up, they've got to come up with a un, what they call a unique position for, for, a, for, a, for a particular business. And so, well, what can we do about conveyancing? It's a little bit dry. <laughs> it's not terribly exciting or not sexy. And someone in the room said, well, when all you do is conveyancing, you get very good at it. And then apparently everyone in that room went quiet. Can you say that again? When all you do is conveyancing, you get very good at it. And then, so that's it, we've got it. And then the creative people came on. So instead of when all you do is conveyancing, you get very good at it, it's when all you do is conveyancing, you get very good at it. It's very subtle, but it works. I do admire Dick Smith because um, he, is, he is successful, uh, but not only at his core business, which of course started off as electronics, but um, his passion for everything Australian, um, his work with charities, his generosity. Um, I've come across Dick uh, with his involvement with Life Education, for instance, which is all about kids, uh, which is my passion. Any charity that involves children, I'm there, doing whatever I can to help out. Dick Smith, electronics. Paul Denny, conveyancing. That's what I want to own. 
Um, so it's taken 20 years of advertising. I think we're getting close.